All right. Well, now that we had a fun time uh, with uh, deriving an equation, let's go into uh, applying an equation. So the statement is, suppose a point charge Q is constrained to move along the X axis. We kind of had one of these in the last section too, but nonetheless, let's continue. Show that the fields at points on the X or on the axis to the right of the charge are given by E equal Q over four pi epsilon naught uh, times one over script R squared parentheses C plus V over C minus V in the X hat direction and B equals zero. Caution, do not assume that V is constant. Okay, so it could be under some acceleration. All right, what are the fields on the axis to the left and the right of the charge? Okay, well, if you recall that the setup looked like uh, pretty familiar to what we had last time, we came into this where we had um, the origin to the left, the point was to the right of the retarded position, uh, script R was the distance in between, X was the distance from the origin to the point, and uh, again, on the X axis, so good to go there. We saw uh, what the fields looked like last time, so I'm not going to copy and paste them over. But uh, we can state here that the general formulation for E is given as such, where we have script R over script R dot U cubed C squared minus V squared U plus uh, the triple product of script R with U and A. Okay, here we need to define V. Well, that's easy because it's moving on the X axis with some velocity V. A, uh, A, X hat, those are pretty easy. And for points to the right, specifically to the right, script R equals R hat. Okay, the difference from the origin there is just X, so X hat direction, easy enough. So U is equal to C R hat uh, minus V. Again, if that's the case, then we have C X hat minus V X hat, so that's where we get R C minus V. All right. If that's the case, then now we need to handle up on that triple product up there. So U cross A is C minus V cross X hat. So if that's the case, we get a C minus V times A and X cross X. Well, <laughs> that's awesome. Cross products of the same unit vector are zero. Easy. Nice knowing you. And so uh, now all we need to do is find out what the heck R dot U is. So we have script R X hat. And C minus V X hat. So factor the script R and C minus V. And uh, X hat dot over X hat is actually what we like. That gives us one. So if we plug everything into this form, we're pretty good there, I would say. Uh, we have script R over script R C minus V cubed. And then we have C squared minus V squared times C squared uh, minus V squared X hat due to the U vector. Um, and then we have script R cross zero. Well, the, the cross product with the zero vector is zero, so that's easy. And then we see that if we cube everything in that denominator, we get a cancellation of R in the numerator with the factor of R cubed, script R cubed. And then that C minus V cancels with the factor of C minus V in the denominator. Okay. Notice that the term in purple looks like the difference of squares. And so what we're able to do is, well, factor like difference of squares. So that once again allows us to cancel a factor of C minus V in that denominator. And thus we can prove that the field of this particular setup is Q over four pi epsilon naught, one over script R squared, C plus V over C minus V in the X hat direction. That to me was not difficult at all. But if you don't know how to set things up or move the cross products, then okay, maybe it might be tricked up. But at this point, I think you can handle it with these. Well, if that's the case, the magnetic field then is, well, we know that's 1 over C script R hat cross E. Okay, well, the problem with that is that script R hat was in the X hat direction. And E is also in the X hat direction. So the cross product of X hat and X hat gives us zero. Uh, okay, that works. I like that. Easy enough. Um, now, for points that, for fields to the points left, R hat would now point in the negative X hat direction. And so we have to put a minus sign on everything that we did before. And if that's the case, what we're going to see is that the difference of squares cancels in the opposite direction, 
and we have a negative on the q, so we get uh, negative q over 4 pi epsilon naught, 1 minus, or 1 over script r squared, c minus v over c plus v x hat, and v equals 0. Uh, so this one really wasn't too bad. You just have to be careful of how to set up that script r, and you're good to go. Otherwise, uh, you know, we'll let you, all, let you out of class early on this one.